uh, push down uh, a short. Crafty should be paranoid, but he plays close enough that it didn't affect him. Still, the stinger of Sean Garris is going to claim him fast rather planted. quickly. And that is a fast plant here on A for T1. Now, Envy have to play a bit of an awkward post plant situation. Mo is set up comfortably, received the push from U Haul. And yeah, tough stuff for Envy. Uh, they'll, they'll see if they can get something here on the exit. FNS dueling with nothing. He was down to 40 health remaining. and food will capitalize. Losing the stinger, though, is. Scoodoodle sends him packing. FNS, all the utility in the world, but no one to really play off of here. Okay. okay. Not like a doodle. Just make an interesting hemish. I mean, the 1v3 now, they'll chase some. Yeah, crucially, Empress Bladestorm both available. It's going to be a Leer as Mo heads out towards the site. Long range there, FNS is going to be able to cut him down. Remember, guns in the hands of MV in this particular round. This is where they want to make their stand. Caboose is on a. A little bit of a lurk here. I don't think his position is known to T1 no, presently. Well, it is now. I beats the shot. It was a little bit thrown off, I think, by the tailwind from Skadoodle. But Crashies is at least able to find the delayed trade. Now, in a 1v2. Spike not down yet. Dazed, ready to... AV is completely empty, and this will be bloodthirsty. Food's in a location here to maybe catch people pushing down. A short. Yes, he finds one. Sean Gets falls. Mo again finds another crucial one. But it's a 2v3 for T1 remaining. now, and there is a lockdown available. It won't be required, though. Nothing trying to make something happen from the showers. Okay. Oh, that could have been a really good one. Caboose. All right. Working the angle. Gets a big hit. Mummy finishes off Mo, but Days takes the close. Headshotting its FNS. All right. 3v4. I just wish it, man. I have 103 right now. Oh, man, I can't use that there. Oh, one jump. I remaining. don't know about that one, food. The, I mean, the, the, the turret getting a kill? Not sure that's... Uh, all right, well, <laughs> not sure that's a thing, but still, he might not win the round regardless. It's a 1v2 situation now. Food with it all to do. Fairly healthy, though, at least. One enemy remaining. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, teleporter taken there. Sean Gares is getting the heck out of dodge. Challenge? Look at this. Food wants it, food's come in, and Sean Garris knows as well. That ability in the previous match from them. The Nerd camera on the high ground, that just bottled out. There it is. Days falls to the showstopper, but it's traded out instantly. Mo wants to push up here. Gets the tracking guard out, and now it's time to go. He's, he just swings out into two players and comes off second best as Envy are up a player. Last Sean Garris is embedded here at Octagon, and gonna give a, uh, yeah, he's going to give it away a little bit there with the dark cover being thrown out. In a 1v3, this seems pretty brutal. This bike is too far away. This really isn't winnable for Sean Garrett's goal, unless MB just failed to double peek him. In fact, they'll triple peek him. But they're at the wrong side. TP. There okay. it is. The five man. Planet. Yeah. And I think T1 are aware of it here. You know, you'll see on the minimap that everyone is continually moving as per regulations. The boost is forced to watch out for those shock darts. And in we go. Days finds first blood. Coming down A short. Those crashes and money. And they're still in a position to cause problems. But no, it's the judge pick up the big. They on Twitter. Hopefully see another one of those. Scar at the four. Mummy playing a little bit too far forward. And Days finds him. Who deals with nothing? So... The remaining T1 players all roughly congregated here around the B part of the map. And Mo has recovered an operator. Realizes, wait a minute, maybe he's really where I want to be. Maybe I just faked the fact that I'm still using a guardian. Probing shots through that dark cover as the spike is very much being held in reserve right now. Dazed is trying to see what Mo can find. Mo sees the dark cover come across before he really knows. There's going to be a camera, obviously, to spot him out. He got him last time. He aggressively pushed. We might see him, God forbid, switch back to the Guardian and actually pressure this. Empress is gone, though. I think that's the biggest issue here. Dark covers are going to come through. That means it will be a B hit. The paranoid follows Sean Garris up to the task. will be the first one through. Nerd camera has been taken care of, but... Envy are here. You even have one through the teleporter. Food will be flanking from the side in just a moment as we hit the 32nd mark. T1 got to get a move on. Yeah, they've got to be quick here. Otherwise, this, this lurk is going to cut them down to size. So here's Arnaz Fury from Days. You sat back with that. Unclear as to whether he found anything with that. Unlikely, uh, based on the movements of T1 right now as FNS just oh. chills out inside his own nerd one dome. Mo, yeah, break <laughs> down. And that was pretty short-lived. And this is in a little bit more efficient way. Play. Yes, I would argue that backing your caboose up to the enemy team uh, is not the most efficient way to play, but 
that's kind of how it went overall. Nothing goes down early. So Envy actually with a bit of pace this round. Right, see, they push over towards the B site now and they've been able to overwhelm it. This is not really the normal Envy approach here. We see this from more poppy teams, but it works out. Sean Gare's going to teleport across the gap there. and going to try and make some sort of foray in from elbow. And it will be Skadoodle. We'll try and make his way out here. Cloud burst. Get Skadoodle onto the site. But yeah, he's going to be spotted out there by the turret, even though it was hit by the paranoia. Sean on his lonesome. This is. Nice got a brain on him. I won't lie. Paint shells that come back in his direction and dazed. Using the dark cover here to set up the two pipe angle. Is it one and done? No, it's even better. He's able to get the double spray down, and now Envy in a much weaker position, especially with a lot of their attention focused towards Hooker, and the spike is left to be long. Three of them are going to get in the two, so that's going to be one. Pull back a second. We'll try to make things a little bit more doable for the Envy side of things. Two versus three. If Finesse is close by, Crash is coming in via Hooker. If they can take down Mo, this will be so much better. And there it is, Mo down. Scar has to make the rotation, or is he? Because now Scar's actually in a great position to respond. All right, Sean Gaze is down, and honestly, with Crash, he's fighting that important kill. We see a teleport now as FNS realizes, okay, actually, maybe B is the play. Cover going out. Having the ability just to make a decision on a dime is very helpful with the Omen, and yeah, it's going to be up to Skadoodle here to try and do something about it. He gets spotted, though, looks like, yeah, revealed by the nerdy camera. And only 20. That will allow for Mummy to get the plant and maybe establish some powerful post-plant positions here for Envy. Caboose has to post up inside U-Haul, the only player, I think, without a proper rifle. You Just should frenzy. run. And here we go. Locked down as well for Envy. Ammo very briefly going to see what he can find. And that Nano Swarm makes it hard to push forward and going to try and get out of this one if possible. All right. Yep. Looks like the lockdown happens. I think Mo is one caught in that one, but it's in heaven. So it's a pretty safe position as Kadoodle's also standing by with the operator. Crash, he's down in a 4v3 here. Dark cover over in the U-Haul direction. Something's going to happen here for T1. Defuse needs to happen momentarily, but look at the stack inside U-Haul. This is filthy. Dace finds one. Caboose no falls now. 3v3 is getting pretty rough, but the time is a factor here. And FNS and Food finish the job. And that'll be in the off a far. A right click. A massive stack up. So T1 are going to go for the gamble stack. Okay, slow warp there. They're able to push past that one there. And the Realize T1 are playing mostly inside the site, but Caboose gets a three piece and that puts T1 to bed awfully quickly. Stacked together and they handle this sort of eco plate. Nothing has a bucky MV closing out 13 9 as well. All right, Mo pushing up the cubby here. Backed up by the jet. Doesn't even need the trade. Dismiss gets away. That is a free kill. So the shadow's being used here. Crash is also having full Mo makes this much harder for Envy. Who on the site pushing up? It's far too slow and T1. Okay, they find themselves in this round. It's just Mummy up against four. They're not giving up on this idea of the B side. FNS that is a fake teleport there. There's a lot of dark cover on the B side. You should run. They don't know he's pushed out here. Down as well. FNS trying to catch people fleeing the site, but it's no good. Sean Gess holds his nerve and Daze holds his aim. Two players remain here. Food stays alive with the lockdown. May give a little bit of breathing room for Envy, but that's really about it. A player detained. Yep, Sean Gez. Not able to get out of that one. And now we're in a 2v3. Mo's running on the other end. Might be able to cut off one player. Crashes has no idea. Got the knife out as well. Mo, unfortunately, will be looking over towards the shower side of things. And now perhaps collapsed upon the camera. Might be able to spot him. But no, it's going to be Mo. Oh, to Crashes first. Can't complete the kill. Food will get in stand. And still time to oh, pop. Not going to go left. for it. The TP is nothing's on the back. Looking for that timing. They will <laughs> just outpace him. Uh, it's so troll, man. It's it, yeah, I get excited about that kind of stuff. We're going to have at least... An attempt here for T1 to interrupt this. Nothing. Very frustrated. Makes remaining. his break through the teleporter and into Hooker. He's able to get rid of Crash. His spray down through the wall is there. Food. 46 points of health. One Knows that nothing's going to be coming. A bit of a fake jump from nothing as he sprays the corner. And the turret has been removed. You know. Skadoodle looking straight at food here, but it's not going to be enough. He knows he has to it for him because they are in attendance now. I'm going to see a bit of a stack here from T1 towards heaven. Waiting for Sean Garris as well. Look at the long rotation coming through from spawn. They need to kind of get this pincer going. The door will be open pretty soon as well. The lair to follow. Okay, what can we get done here? Sean's nearly there. They don't know he's there. Caboose gets hit by the fault line, but is still able to find the head of Moe. He's just in a random spot. 
T1 now. Need to make this push. And Sean Jazz. Yeah, he's going to be able to get the drop on FNS comfortably enough now in a 3v2 situation. Envy respond. They get a little bit of advance notice that Sean is coming and crash his whips around. Nice point there to set Skadoodle up for the push. So close. And yep, yeah, looks like Crash was able to get out. Mostly unscathed as well. T1 make a gambit here uh, in A main. And I like it. Look pretty good, but. I think their options now to make the play in this round are dwindling quickly. Yeah, they handled any sort of aggression from T1 with Finesse as, speaking of which, gets one of those kills. One alive now, just Sean Garris with oh. the Sheriff and has a 1v1 that unlikely. Now, you know, all well and good to be able to, to use Devour, but he's going to be low health going into an engagement, which is really bad news for Rainer as a rule, but he's able to recover there. That's a double face down. Caboose is missing. Me. We're in a 3v3 situation now, and the spike is headed over towards A. Crashes with the ghost out. Nothing just around the corner here. Uh, Crashes will shut the door and get a little bit of information now. Fault light, fault line rather, doesn't stop the plant, nor does aftershock. The Nemo here. Mo's got a free gun. Mo is in position right now. Nothing is backed up with him so they can work this through there is going to be hunter's fury on the other side though you can see that crashes has already worked his way around isn't offside but it's not quite ideal if you want to play for that altars now mb on half hp for one of their members you also have tagged up food it's not I didn't ideal see it. it's mo gave up his gun i think oh, I most all crash his head there and he was picked up so it's going to be a trade now put us in a 1v1 with the spike down Nothing knows that the turret's there. It's going to be quite the nuisance for him. And food, oh yes, very cheeky. Nano Swarm on the site. 19 health remaining for nothing and no time left. Food doesn't even have... Spike in the hands of FNS and the bomb buddy has been released now. Nothing will have to deal with that. He's not ready for the showstopper. Caboose brings the curtain down on T1. <laughs> and they are absolutely shell-shocked. I mean, Day still says, okay, just take me now and be done with it. Absolutely brutal. Clean. Caboose comes through. The last double tap as well to get the number kill. Number four kill. And it's going to be a five and zero as we head into what's going to be our modifier. T1 have a lot of vaults they won't be allowed to use. So they've been banking these up. We'll have to shelve it for a rainy day. Just take a look at Caboose again. Oh, Just a rocket flying it through. The headshot on the moat. Through the wall as well. And then this one. Bit of money. All right, aggressive play. Oh my God, Sean Gares tries to go for something big here, but it's followed up, of course, with the rolling thunder. And how far forward they are now. Envy are forced to try and stand their ground and stand their ground, they do. A 2v1 after extremely aggressive play there from T1. Leaves Mo versus Mummy. And the latter is headed for B. Gonna miss each other here, I'm not gonna see. Oh, I'm lying. This is actually gonna be Mo peeking at the right time. The layer comes through as well. Mummy might be in trouble. It's just gonna work a bit of a head glitch angle. Second layer to follow through as well. Still the Empress into play if he wants to go for it. And Mo has a bit of timing while the reload's happening. Oh my god, Mummy starts his career. Really dashing far ahead. Two ultimates in hand as well. Nothing has to put forward. This is such a bad position for him. Oh my god, the Hunter's Fury preempting someone playing in that cubby. I don't think they expected it to be the operator, but Caboose gets another slick showstopper now as all eyes get turned towards the A site. Yudil has the cloud burst up, but he runs straight into an L drone, so his position is now known. Still wins the duel against food and gets his first frag of the map. But Envy are still all one. They have plenty of fond memories of playing these knife rounds to decide those maps and straight over into the mid courtyard. Who's going to get the isolation on who? Well, Dazed, uh, he be Durkin. That's all I'm going to say about that. Looking pretty good so far. Casting, I mean, unironically casting a knife round. The last time I did that, it was because I was just getting started casting Counter Strike and I didn't understand True. that, like, you, you, you didn't cast knife rounds. And I was like, I was much younger. And like, Pansy has never One let me live it down. Remaining. Casting a knife round, unironically. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not my finest moment, but it happens to all of us. Crashy is in a 1v2 and realizes that this could be a little difficult. Has to try and get these stabs remaining. in without taking them back himself. Like Actually, one. excuse me. Might be winnable here. Crashy's. Oh. His opponent is so low. Scar gets the out into mid. Now he's playing towards Catwalk. Nothing removed, and that was actually the, the A push from Crashes. So that relieves a bit of pressure on that side of the map here for Envy. And Crashes gets yet another one from A main. Then he goes towards Tree to find himself a kill. And T1 just struggled with this little no burst of aggression from Crashes playing from A. Daze finally puts that problem to bed, but there are four more of those staring 
Okay. Straight down the barrel at him. Might just need to fucking move around. Yeah, okay. The boombot spots him now. Just a couple <laughs> of jumping shots. That's, by the way, two players dead in two different units. You found out my Mo on transition. And this is going to be MV fast rotating. They know it's going to be heavy eight. He wants to go in a position where they can pull out of this if they want. You see the bot line thrown in there. A trade of kills. Caboose turns up though, and he's dangerous. Even with the stinger. Days is able to deal with him though from inside the dark cover. And Mummy now is in a 1v3 with the operator. There is a tailwind available, so there is a free peek, and he'll take that now. Well, scares Mummy make it jealous, seeing the operator Omen getting some value. FNS is even up the score here. That was from a, a bit of an aggressive push through mid, if I'm not mistaken. FNS not ready for that one. Looks like he was reading a paranoia, but Skadoodle got the drop on him, and now he pushes over towards an A site that is largely uncontested. Completely uncontested. MV are going to have to go for a lockdown here. I assume they're going to make a display happen. I don't know if they can really give away more rounds. It is 3v4. They have that lockdown. We'll come into the Rolling Thunder, which is not going to be great for MV to walk into. However, this is a very good post fight from TY. A couple members off site. You have players in hell as well. Just going to get nothing out of dodge. Then we'll be okay. Lockdown placed, and you can see that nothing has to abscond through B main. A main, rather. And uh, interesting enough, okay, so the Twin of Shadows is available for Sean. So it looks like he holds it as long as he can without getting detained. And here comes the push back in. Now it's sort of T1 put in a post plant situation, but Rolling Thunder gets sent straight across the side. Sean Gares is hit with an inside hell. Maybe that wasn't the way it was planned. Crash is a mummy fine one each, and now it's going to be the 1v2. Mummy with the operator in hand, but time is not on his side. And another. I don't know what's happening, A. They just know that they heard 1B. This could be a nasty little pincer uh, from Marker and the main here. The B side defenders for every need to be ready, and they are. Food stands his ground. Mo comes out an Empress by the looks of things and just gets crushed. Sean Gez sits inside the dark cover for now, trying to formulate a way forward here, but T1 now starting to. Left. Feel a little outgunned, I'm sure of it. Envy able to bolster three players now at B with FNS joining and come Oh my oh, god. That's a filthy little two piece. And that shuts the door on this opportunity for T1 almost entirely now. Nothing weak. And a 1v5 at least gets the uh the cheeky upstart that really scuttled the ship of T1, but that's about all you should expect to find. And Envy bring up the match point here. Now we're gonna see T1. Nothing, just going to look for a very... The driest of dry peaks <laughs> over towards the A side here. Two flashpoints available and knows... It has to know there's an omen on the right, but doesn't check it. And FNS wants to push this here. This is ballsy. He must know there's no one there to back up and nothing just gets chasing to the corner through the middle of the map here. Mummy getting rid of Mo and Skadoodle was at least able to find that one kill. Make it two now. Mummy is down on that B side. is cracked wide open three alive though that's really important for t1 even though skadoodles are low hp sean still has a flash available we we'll need to wait for the timing i wonder if they're going to try and push through over to defend that's one that's already happening but the operator shot goes wide oh my crashes won't miss the shot though two on hunter's two fury. now scar still on 30 hp the hunter's fury's yeah. just come online here for crashes i mean you have a good idea they're playing in boathouse right you maybe just peek this get some information clear speedway and now you go together 30 health left on skadoodle now fns gives the bomb a little bit of a tickle scar takes out towards speedway sees nothing in fns there's no shenanigans required